What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are rocking out with an absolute banger of a squad. We're rolling out with Shadow Rider Calyrex, Weakness Policy Solgaleo, and my boy Rotom Heat. You guys are in no deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, get on top of that. Click that big red subscribe button and join the Jeans community. It really helps me grow as a content creator. So give a huge shout out to all my subscribers. But before we get started with today's team preview, I want to go over question of the day. And that is, what are your overall thoughts on Super Mario Strikers Battle League? The brand new Mario Strikers game that just released on the Nintendo Switch. I actually picked it up yesterday, day one when it came out, because I'm a huge fan of the Striker series. And I absolutely love this game. This game is like a more skillful strikers like you actually take a skill you actually have to learn techniques you actually have to do a bunch of different things and the ranking and online mode is phenomenal so if you guys are a fan of strikers i highly recommend picking up this game but definitely let me know you guys thoughts in the comment section down below but let's get started here in the top left corner with today's team preview starting off with the one and only top of video over here with misty surge alongside with the choice specs as a we're rocking Moonblast, we're rocking Scald, Dazzling Gleam, and then we have Trick to actually pass off these choice specs and give them to a Pokemon. So, really do like this moveset, really do like this item pairing with it. Cannot wait to rock out with Top of Finny. Second Pokemon on the squad is going to be Shadow Rider Calyrex over here with the Asmode ability, alongside with the Focus Sash, because you know, Focus Sash is definitely the best item for Shadow Rider Calyrex. Obviously, we're rocking Astral Barrage. We also have Pollen Puff and Bulldoze to pair up well with the Solcaleo. We can proc Policy with Bulldoze, and we can heal up Ally Pokemon with Pollen Puff. So, I really do like that combo of the Calyrex and Solcaleo. Final move on this Pokemon is going to be Protect, obviously because, you know, Protect rocks out in double battles. Middle left is going to be Rotom Heat, and I haven't used this Pokemon in so long, so I'm actually super hyped to use him. Cannot wait to counter up on some Zassians because this Pokemon really does counter up on Zassian really, really well, so cannot wait to rock out with him. We got Levitate alongside with the Soul Fest, Thunderbolt, Overheat, Dark Pulse, and Volt Switch for a phenomenal moveset for this Pokemon. Fourth Pokemon on squad is going to be Nihilego. I haven't used him in a while either. Really cool Ultra Beast. Love him so much. He has the Beast Boost ability alongside with the Power Herb as items of Meteor Beam can get off in one shot. We also have Power Gem for Stab, Grass Knot for a coverage move, and Protect for our fourth and final move. Bottom left hand corner is going to be our main Dynamax Pokemon. It's going to be Solgaleo over here. Really, really rips up in Dynamax, especially once that policy is proc. You guys know it's bulky. Then on top of that, it has a high attack after that weakness policy is proc. We have Full Metal Body as ability, which I absolutely love. We have Policy, which I already mentioned. And we got Sun Shield Strike, Seki Fangs, EQ, and Protect Force. Final Pokemon on the squad is our support mon. It is going to be my favorite Grimmsnarl set, Pranks or Light Clay Grimmsnarl. We got Spirit Break, Sucker Punch, Reflecting Light Screen. Just works out so well because of that Light Clay makes these screens last like forever. Basically the whole battle. So once you get this screen set up, your team's going to be even more bulkier. So absolutely love it. But guys, you want to write the team for yourself? Run the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Calyrex, Weakness Policy, Solgaleo, and Rotom Heat team. Battle number one coming at you guys, and we're going up against a pretty cool team. This guy's rocking a Garchomp Series 12 team with Zekron, Sableye, Zacian, Tapu Fini, and Rillaboom. How should we go into this one? How should we play? I feel like Calyrex is just a solid lead. We just got to watch out for the fake out, but we're totally fine with that because if we go Calyrex, the other Pokemon will probably Dynamax, which would be Solgaleo, right? Calyrex, Solgaleo, Proc Policy, Bulldoze at the same time. I am digging that. I do like that turn because he has no Pokemon with Levitate over here. We can just lower speed and kind of roll up from there. So I dig it. Calyrex, Solgaleo. Let's run it. Let's run it. Back end support. We're going to bring, I think the Halego is not too bad here. But Rotom Heat definitely got to come in here for that Sassian. And then last but not least, it's either Finny or Nihilego, right? Who do I want to roll into? Finny's not bad. Finny is not too shabby here. I kind of, I kind of like am leaning towards Finny. I am leaning towards Finny. That's because I see that Zach round, but Nihil Lego's type nice. I did love me some Nihil Lego, but I'm going to go top of Finny with that choice specs right here. Let's run it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. I get this video started off strong. I need a battle number one victory. I just want to wanna, I just want to roll into a nice little winning record today. Maybe go first battle victory, second battle victory, and then kind of just chill out in the third battle, maybe get a perfect record, but we'll see. We got to start here have to start here but let's see who our opponent leads let's see who he's rocking out with he's gonna go save light and guard chop which i'm totally fine with i am honestly fine with because i can bulldoze this um slow, slow, slow some of them down he might quash me he could honestly trick me as well i'm just scared i'm kind of scared to see what this thing's gonna do what is sable i gonna do honestly i might just ask for barrage and protect i'm scared of what this sable is gonna do and i kind of want to see what it's gonna do first and foremost I am scared of that thing. So he's gonna end up dynamics. That Sable is just scaring me, man. I don't know if he's gonna like trick my uh trick my Solgaleo, maybe quash him. Like 
He's just looking scary, man. I don't like it. I do not like it one bit. <laughs> I don't like it. So maybe we'll save Dynamax for a different one. Maybe we'll save that. But we'll see what he wants to roll out into. And then a protecting Sokalio. And we're going to go from there. The protect. He's going to go for the will So he's looking for them burns. Look at that. Look at this little booger. That's why I'm not dealing with the same. Thank God we didn't Dynamax. We're going to roll out with that. He's going to end up going into a Max Wormwind. And going after Calyrex, if I had to guess, right? Yeah, so Calyrex is going to take some damage. Calyrex is going to be able to soak here as well. All right, cool. So Attack Drop is going to come in here, but it doesn't do anything onto my Solgaleo. So I could definitely see him going for another, uh, another Will-O-Wisp. So in this case, I could just hard swap it to, like, say, Rotom. Because if he wants to go into a Quake into my Solgaleo, that's totally fine, too. We have Levitate on this one. So we're going to swap Solgaleo. We're going to roll on the Rotom. And we're going to get after it. we going to get after it. You Will-O-Wisp me again? Going for it. He goes for a Shadow Sneak. How dare you? How dare you go for a Shadow Sneak? No smart play. So he goes for Shadow Sneak. Hopefully he's going for a Quake, though. Hopefully he is going for a Quake. Let's see what he does. Go for a Quake. No, he goes for a little Worm Wind. Doing, dude. Worm Wind comes out here. But Tom's going to take some damage. I'm going to have to bring out Top of Finny. I think we're going to have to Dynamax Finny at this point. We might have to Dynamax Finny at this point. And he's not too bad. The Topu Finny might have to get the Dynamax. The lovely little Dynamax. Hmm. Yeah, I'm with it. Could set a Misty Surge, too. Yeah, let's do it. So, we're going to Dynamax Finny here. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Dynamax Finny. Uh, trying to think. Let's save Sogalio for the back end. Only problem is that, that little, what's it called? That Zassian that's going to be in the back end. Zassian is scaring me. Zassian is scaring me. But that Sableye is also scaring me. If we would have Dynamax or something last turn, that could have been an amazing turn. Could have been a solid turn, but uh, yeah, we're gonna have to die max this thing. Going to uh, Starfall, I could, I could say I could definitely save my Dynamax, which I might want to do, and just gleam and maybe like overheat, gleam and dark pulse. I don't want to overheat just yet. Actually, we might want to overheat. My play now, just dark pulse. I'll just dark pulse into that thing. Let's make this happen. Let's see what he's going to do here. So he's going to end up ally switching. Okay. That's totally fine. He's going to end up ally switching. And Garchomp's going to go for a Quake here into Top of Finny. Get that special defense boost, which is going to work well for him. A special defense boost is huge. And Top of Finny's going to soak. And uh, that's some game. I think Finny might be faster than me, which would be lovely. Which would be lovely. But hopefully, that just the game itself can take out this, uh, this Sableye. No, Rotom goes first. Of course, Rotom goes first. They're going Dark Pulse here. Does not KO, but Dazzle Gleam should come in here and finish him off. Who's dodging that? Okay, this thing has a berry. Never mind. He's rocking out. Oh my god, a fairy berry. Love it. Love it. So this thing's able to soak. He's going to end up doing that, and then he's going to bring out his next Pokemon. So it's looking tough for us, man. It's definitely looking tough for us. But his Dynamax turns are over. We still have our Dynamax. I kind of dig it, kind of don't. Sitting in a weird spot. We're definitely sitting in a weird spot, because I still have Solgaleo, and Solgaleo is not bad. He's going to bring out Zekrom. Okay. Zekrom's coming in hot. Just chilling. I'm chilling with that. I'm chilling with that, and we could go into a, uh, obviously we want to roll into a Gleam. Gleam would do the most damage, and we're choice into it anyway. So we're going to go for the Gleam, and then if I can, I really want to go for an Overheat, but I can't. I cannot. We go after Garchomp? No, I'm just going to go after Zekrom. I'm just going to go after Zekrom here. Let's see this dude's play. Let's see this dude's play. This battle's actually going to be closer than, than I thought it was. It's going to end up hard swapping. That's really fine. Into who? The top of Finny. I'm gonna bring out Tapu Finny. Oh, dude, I could have went for an electric. Could have just went for an electric. That could be good. Dragon Claw's gonna come out here. We might be able to soak that because this terrain. We don't. Wow, the terrain doesn't help us soak that out. That halves the dragon damage too. Gleam comes through here. Can we take out Garchomp with this? We do. Okay, cool. So Garchomp's out for the Cal, and I kind of, I'm thinking who he has in the back end. Zekrom and Tapu Finny. Zekrom and Tapu Finny. So now I can bring out Solgaleo and I can Dynamax him for, for end game here. So Zekrom is coming out here. Hello, Zekrom. How you doing? How are you, Zekrom? So we're choice into that Dazzling Gleam. I'm just gonna send it, but the, I'm really the only Pokemon I'm worried about here is going to be that Zekrom. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hit it with Quake. Quake's my, my in my best interest too. So we're gonna send another Gleam. We're gonna Dynamax. We are gonna drop a Quake. And we're gonna go right after this. So wasted out his Dynamax turn. He was definitely looking good in the beginning, but now that we kind of wasted out the turns, brought in our Solgaleo at a perfect time without that Sableye trying to put it on a burn. I think we should be sitting fine here.
Run it up, Solgaleo. Run it up, my dog. And if he wants to hit me with a super effective move, that's fine by me. We have weakness policy and we're ready to roll. And Solgaleo is rather fast. I think I think the turn's gonna go Zekrom, Solgaleo, and then the top of the are gonna do their thing. Right? Unless it might might be Solgaleo going first. But I think Zekrom's a little bit faster, right? Yeah. Oh, he's gonna s You won't soak me like that? He's gonna bull strike. That's going after Top of Finney, so he soaked me, and then now he goes for a bullshit. Okay, I'm glad with that. He goes after Top of Finney with that one. I'm surprised. I'm surprised he soaked me and then went after Top of Finney. The soak combo. The soak combo coming out here. Quake's going to fly here. Can we KO with this? KO this thing. Get this thing out of here. Do him dirty. We do not. Um. Okay, I think he still has to go here, right? I think he still has to go. He soaked me. Oh, no, dude. No, leave me alone. Not the weakness policy. And I'm water type now. I am indeed water type. Okay, uh. Gotta quick again. We gotta get rid of the Zekrom. Zekrom's the thing that poses a threat to us. He already soaked me. I'm already water. It failed. And he's gonna go for a bull strike. Can we eat this? No shot. Oh my lord. What a combo. What a combo. But of course, that thing's able to soak up my shot. Rocks the weakness policy and then soaks me bull strike. Come on, man. But well, that's GG's. Great little combo there. We end up losing battle number one. We're hopping into battle number two, and we're going up against a really cool team right here. Malamar, who I absolutely love. Haven't used him in forever. Tapu Fini, Kangaskhan with Fake Out, and then he has the Alga, Entei, and Cresselia. So only one restricted mod. Okay, I'm with it all day. We're going to lead this Calyrex. I might lead Rotom here in Dynamax because Rotom's just such a cool Pokemon. Rotom is such a cool Pokemon. So yeah, let's go Calyrex. Let's go Rotom. Let's roll out with both of them. And then in the back end, we could bring Nihilego. I kind of dig. I definitely dig Nihilego. He's pretty cool. He's pretty cool. And I'm going to go Nihilego. And then I think Solgaleo. We gotta bring Solgaleo. We gotta rock out with that Pokemon. Let's run it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves our first win for today's video. But yo, battle number one was definitely looking good for us. Up until like that weakness policy came in here. Or even when he soaked us. I think obviously if he didn't uh if he didn't have weakness policy, uh, we could have been able to eat up a bull strike and just win the battle. But I'm surprised our first max quake did not. I think it's because no, it, it, it's not it's not a stab move, so it was super close. But so I thought it should have been able to kill him. Definitely cutting it close. But he's gonna end up going Kangaskhan and Diablo. I'm totally cool with this turn. I'm totally cool with this turn. But I'm gonna Dynamax my Rotom and I might just bulldoze to slow down everybody. What's Rotom speed at? Let me see Rotom speed real quick. Let me see your speed, Rotom. Yeah, check out Rotom's speed. If it's faster than Diaga, I'm not gonna bulldoze. But if it if it's slower, then I might have to. 115, that's kind of close. Burr, 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 burr. It's kind of close. It's kind of close, but I'm going to trust the process here. I'm going to trust the process. And you know what? I'm just going to go straight for A. Uh, you know, I'm going to bull this. I'm going to slow down everybody. I'm going to slow down everybody, and I'm just going to flare straight up onto uh, and set the, set the drought, too. It's going to be nice. Then we're going to get after us, Diago. I'm going to say AO Diago. We're, we're not playing games with you. We are not playing games with you. Love me some Rotom Heat. We're getting them in here in battle number two. We're trying to, we're trying to catch some double trying to catch some numbers. I'm not going to lie. The only game I'm thinking about right now is Mario Strikers. The game is so much fun, dude. It's just so competitive, and there's so many techniques and how skillful it is in the new one. It's awesome. I cannot wait to play it. I cannot wait to play it. Don't worry, guys. I'm definitely bringing you guys some content here as well for that game. Definitely bringing you guys some content for that. But he goes for a... Wait a minute. Wait. Just fake me out? Wait. Wait a minute. He just faked me out? How did he just fake out my Calyrex? Hold up, hold up. Did he just fake out my Calyrex? What just happened? What item? How did he fake out my Calyrex? I wasn't paying attention. How did he just fake out my Calyrex? Oh no, he has that ability. That ability where normal moves can hit Ghost Pokemon. Oh my god, that's so cool. I'm not with it all day. You know, I'm going to protect here and we go for another flare. Or I could drop special defense stats. Or I could flare again. What do I want to do? I'm just going to flare. It's just Dialga slot. Wow, that's so cool. Who's going to end up Dynamax? Who's Dynamax? Are you Dynamax and Dialga in this trick room? I kind of hope so. In this case, my boy can eat up whatever. My Rotom could eat up whatever and we can take out Dialga. Please be Dialga. It is, yo. That's lovely. We love this turn unless he's guarding. Unless he's doing a little bit of a max guard action. We hope not. We hope not. We shall see. No max guard. Fingers crossed, baby. Let us take out the Stiaka. Cool. No max guard. 
Actually, maybe Max Guard. Protect comes out. Actually, no Max Guard because his Max Guard would have came out first. So we protect. He's going to go for a Quake here. He's going to go into my Cali Cali. Cali's going to be able to soak. Beautiful. He's going to get that special defense boost, but he's still not going to be able to eat up this uh, this flare. I don't think he, he's going to be able to. Just due to the fact is uh, we got the heat drought now. Kind of cancels out. Actually, he might be able to because he only has more HP. And he's going to thief me, dude. You're going to thief me and take my Assault Vest? How dare you? I'm my Assault Vest. I love my Assault Vest. But hopefully this KOs, right? Let's see. Make it happen, Rotom. Rotom, you're better than that. You are so much better than that. Okay, so if he wants to go for a Bulldoze, I could hard swap into somebody, but... You know what? Calyx goes down. Calyx goes down. I'll go for an Astral Barrage. Actually, we might go for a Palm Puff here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to heal up my Rotom here. I want to set terrain. What do I want to do? Could go for Max Darkness. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to lower uh, Special Defense stats here. You can go for the Quake. Probably take me out, right? See, you might be able to eat this up, Cali. You might be able to eat that up. Let's go. That looks on the Eda. On the Eda! We love it. Now he has a Special Defense boost. This is a little tough because Rotom probably can't take out the Alga at this point. Rock Souls are coming in here. That hurts me. That hurts the soul. Hey, come on, yo. Take this thing out. This thing out. This might have been a bad call for me. We can pick up the KO. That could be big, but I don't know if we're going to be able to. Let's see. Pick up the KO. Rotom. Rotom. You're better than that. You are better than that. Come on, Rotom. You are way better than that. I'm going to drop special defense and, uh, what am I going to from here? I slower Pokemon like you. He's going to quake me, though. He is going to quake me. I mean, that could proc policy and I could just drop the Qs. Yeah, I'm with it. I'm with it. Ah, uh, would it? Okay. The bolt switch out from here, too. Bring out the hit Lego for next turn, but EQ is definitely going to fly. Uh, who goes first? No, we don't want to bolt switch because then we bring out our hit Lego and we deal damage. So I'm just going to do this and Thunderbolt. That's a nice, lovely little Thunderbolt. I could obviously overheat to deal some big damage on the Kangaskhan, but I do not really want to move my Rotom at this point. I do not want to do that with this Rotom at this point. So let's see how this one plays. The Alga, come on, man. Uh, we, uh, I wish I would have got rid of it last turn. Instead of going for that special defense boost or special defense drop, we should just got rid of that Pokemon. That could have been a bit. So he's gonna end up quaking here. I'm fine with that. He's gonna actually proc policy here, and actually that did a lot more damage than I thought. Hopefully my that Kangaskhan is not going into me. Hopefully that Kangaskhan is, is is leaving me alone. That's all we want. With this policy is proc, so we can get off some big damage here. Kangaskhan, just go after my Rotom. That's all I want from you. That's all I want from you. Rock size can come in here. Dodge Solgaleo. Let's go. Big dodge from Solgaleo. It is going to chip up some nice damage onto my Rotom. But still, Rotom's going to be able to soak. And as long as he doesn't flinch, I think we should be fine. No flinch coming out here. Yes, sir. No flinch. Thunderbolt comes in here. Boop. Chipping up some damage. Wow, I think I actually bulked. Because that, uh, what's it called? Because that, uh, special defense boost. So EQ's going to fly here. Get off some nice damage on both these Pokemon. Bring Kang is coming down to a decent amount of HP. And I think we can just protect out this, uh, right? I can bolt switch here as well. Bring out the Lego. Kangaskhan has got to go. The double protect really depends who he brings out here. Yo, look at little Kangaskhan and the little, little Joey in this pouch. <laughs> the thing's hilarious. But yeah, he's going to bring out Malmar. And uh, next Malmar's speed. That's my question. I think there's only one more turn left in Trick Room, right? Yeah, one more turn left in Trick Room. I am just going to uh, protect both these guys. Protect. And then I cannot actually protect him. And I could go just for a Thunderbolt. Probably my best bet. Or I'll just overheat this thing. If we can get off a turn, I'd rather overheat, you know? Protect you. And then we'll take speed later in the match. Not bad, because my Pokemon are rather fast in the back end. He's going to go for a Throw Chop. Can you eat that? Dude, you. I love you. Rockside coming in here. Dodge it, Rotom. Rotom, dodge it. Rotom, dodge this. Dang, yo. Rotom's out for the count. So Rockside is definitely... But Trick Room is over, which is a huge benefit for us. I can drop EQs. But at the same time, it's like, do I really want to drop EQs? Could definitely drop EQs. Could go straight for Meteor Beam. <sighs> Could protect you. That might be my play. Protect. Protect the hit Lego and just drop an EQ. Could be my play. I think it's going to be my play. EQ can do some big damage on all these Pokemon. So I might as well protect my boy. We do have weakness policy proc. Let's try to get some rolling here. Trick Room is gone. We're just hoping that Malmar... I know, Malmar isn't that fast. He's not fast. So Galio should be fast on the field, right? I believe so. I believe so. Cool. So Galio's going to be able to drop a free EQ. We protect it. 
And we're gonna drop Kangas Kong for sure. And we might drop the Malmar here as well. No, we bring Malmar down a half, but still that's a solid turn. Maybe Malmar goes after my uh my Nihil Lego. Let's see how this one plays. He's gonna pop a trick room. Okay, so he pops a trick room. Mm. He pops a trick room. And now he's gonna go into his final Pokemon. God dang trick room, dude. God dang trick room. I was not expecting that. Cresselia's gonna come out here. Cresselia's gonna come out here. The crest flies out here. Uh you can get off a Sun Seal Strike. I would love to do that. I want the crest. I'm just gonna meteor beam over into Malamar. Over into the lovely little Malamar. Can't protect again. God, dude. God dang it, dude. Okay. My Nihil Legos can clutch this one up. My Nihil Legos a beast. He's a beast. Third chop coming in hot. He's gonna take me out with that. That's fine. If I can meteor beam and get the special attack boost and maybe survive some shots from Crest, he'll be thriving. Let's see what Crest is rocking. Go for a power swap. Go power swap me. How dare you? How dare you power swap me? Meteor beam coming in hot. We are gonna get that special defense boost. Which is Go from there. Nice little special defense boost. If we can pick up this KO, we could get another special defense boost. Could be good. Could be good. Pick up this KO. Come on, Nihil Lego. Don't let that power swap do you dirty. Just pick up the KO. Big time KO. Big time KO. We're going to get a beast boost here as well. Lovely little beast boost. Lovely little beast boost. Run it. Run it. Oh, we get speed. Oh, come on, dude. Why we get speed in a trick room? <laughs> Why we get speed in the trick room? That's whack. We can go for a power gem. That's probably our best bet. Chipping up some damage on that thing. God dang it. And power swap's going to come back. So we're going to swap it back. We're going to swap it back. Power gem coming in hot. Uh, he, and uh, does he take my plus one? Let me see. Yeah, yeah you little biscuit. He took my mm, little biscuit. He took my plus one. How dare you? How dare you do that? I probably should have protected just to try to waste out trick room turns. But let's see what he does. How much damage are you going to do? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get it, Nihil. I go. Get it. Get it. Of course, dude. Why are you getting these special attack drops? Why are you getting them? I don't like it. I don't like it. Do I go for grass knots now? I go for grass knots to see how much that does. Nah, no, we're just gonna keep going for power. Man. I'm gonna start slowly chipping up. Moonbots, dude. If he gets another special defense drop, I'm gonna cry a little bit. They're probably gonna get a crit here, too. Soaking it up. What? 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 Bro, that's so whack. Give me some crits, dude. Hopefully, this thing does not have recover. Hopefully, this thing is not ripping with recover. That is, that is whack. That is whack. This thing's getting special, special attack drops. Power jump coming in hot. Send it in the hill, Lego. Send it, dude. No recover. This thing has a berry. Of course it has a berry. Might, might be popping a trick room here. Let me cut it close. Let me cut it close. What's your, what's your ripping button? Trick room. Ah, this game, this game, this game. This game, this game, this game. I probably should have went for a meteor beam there. I would have been my play. I would have been my play. We knew he was going to go for a trick room. He's going to go for the moon blast. He's going to slowly just torch me here. I might just start protecting. I might protect next turn just to waste out these uh, trick room turns. You know? I'm trying to get some crits, man. But I'm going to protect this turn. Waste out a trick room, trick room turn. We're going to roll from there. If this guy wants to play late game, I'll play late game all day. I'm winning this battle. I'm not losing. I'm not losing. Moonblast coming in hot. No, this thing doesn't have moonlight. I think it has moonlight. That could be ugly. That could be ugly. That could be ugly. Moonblast coming in hot. I could protect next turn, but I don't think I am. I think he might read the protect. Oh, give me some crits, dude. This guy gets special attack drops all day long. Give me some crits. Give me some crits. I need a crit. I need a crit. Need a crit. You need a crit. Moonblast coming in. Watch. He's going to get another special attack drop, which is ridiculous. Which will be ridiculous. Power gem coming in out in hot. Give me some crits, dude. I'm due for a crit. So due for a crit. Um, if he wants to pop a trick room, that's totally fine. I'm going to charge a meteor beam. I'm charging the meteor beam here. I'm charging the meteor beam. I want my special attack boost. Give me my special attack back. <laughs> this thing's gonna pop a trick room. We saw that coming all day. So that's a good turn for meteor beam here. And we're gonna, we gonna get after it. We're gonna get after it. It's kinda close, dude. Kinda close. Give me a crit with this meteor beam. Just let me finish the battle. Moonblast coming in hot. Watch, wow, she's gonna get a crit here and it's gonna be so ugly. No special attack drop. Nothing. Cool. Meteor beam coming in hot. Loving it. No! Dude, what you mean? Get out of my face with that. Missing my meteor beam? Oh, 
Dude, this battle, dude. This battle. It's coming down to the wire. Coming down to the wire. Special attack drop. Wow. Come on, power gem. Give me some crits, dude. We need it. Give me a crit. What do I need? How many turns left in trick room? Two. I'm totally fine with just power gemming it through this. I'm totally fine with power gemming through it. I'm gonna go for a moon blast. Come, ah, dude. I don't know what to do. You're gonna hit me up with that. This is kind of close. Power gem coming in hot. Will two more take him out? Will two more power gems take him out? That's the real question. Rolling in with a moon blast. I swear, if you get a crit or a special attack shop, I'm gonna cry. 39, down 21. We should be able to eat up another one. Power gem coming in hot. Trick room's gone. Run the power gem. Come on, baby. Power gem, take him out. Take him out, power gem. Power gem, take him out. Run it, power gem. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Power gem, connect. Power gem. I love you. Let's go. Let's go. What a battle. What a battle. I told you guys we were winning this battle. My boy Nihil Lego clutching it up with all those special attack drops. You gotta love it. Third and final battle coming at you guys, and that last battle came down to the wire. Absolutely loved it. My boy Nihil Lego clutched it up and grabbed ourselves a first win. Time to grab ourselves a second win and go back to back here and grab ourselves that winning record. But we're going up against a heavy meta Groudon, Charizard, Venus Rich Squad. Always tough. It is always tough, but I feel like Calyrex is a solid lead because he can outspeed a good amount. So I'm going to go there. I might go Rotom here as well. Rotom is not too shabby. It's not too shabby. Rotom Calyrex lead could definitely be good, but my problem here would be like... Uh, be that Venus will put me to sleep. <sighs> you know, I just don't like that. What are we rocking with you? Wait, do we have Sucker Punch? We do have Sucker Punch, so I, I kind of want to lead you. Calyrex Grimstar? We go Calyrex Grimstar, or I can lead uh, Nihilego. This wouldn't be too bad. Another Lego would not be too bad. Rotom wouldn't be bad here either. We go Rotom for a lead and bring Calyrex in the back end? That's for late game stuff? Hmm. Hmm. What is my play? What is the Jeans player? I really don't know. We go Solgaleo. You know, I'm going to lead the Rotom. I'm going to bring Solgaleo and then I'm going to bring Calyrex in the back end. Unlock it in. I'm going to lock it down. Let's let's grab ourselves a win here in battle number three. But this one I think is going to be tough. That Venus from Charizard and Drought, it just does me dirty. It really does do me dirty, so we'll see. We shall see. Dry Fish coming out here. What up, Dry Fish? How you doing, dude? <laughs> How you doing, dog? Let's see it. Let's make it happen here. Let's make it happen. Do, do, do. Groudon and Calyrex. Okay. I'm with this because I can rip a Sucker Punch. I can rip a Sucker Punch all day. I can actually rip a Sucker Punch and I can Volt Switch out. And I can Volt Switch out if I want to. Or I could Overheat. Whatever whatever my call is. Whatever my call is. Do I want to Overheat here? Right into this uh, Groudon and maybe Volt Switch next turn? Definitely want to Sucker Punch here. Try to rip up with that. I could double down Dark Pulse. I think I'm just Volt Switching. I'm thinking about it, because Groudon's going to go before my Rotom. So we'll see what he wants to do. He's going to have a Blitz Roll on Groudon. That's a solid turn for us. He's going to go into Indeedy. Ooh, solid turn from him. Solid turn from him. I'll give it to him all day. It's a great turn from him. It's a lovely turn. It's a great turn. So he swaps into, Indi into the Indeedy so the Sucker Punch cannot go through. So that's a really good turn. We have the Soul Vessel on this Pokemon, so Astro Barrage. That Pokemon should be solid here. That Pokey should be solid. I'm going to do that. Rotom actually took a lot more damage than I thought he would. And I'm going to Volt Switch Pivot. I'm going to pivot out here. I think I'm going to bring Calyx on my own out. And we're going to get rolling from here. Because I can just set up a Lich next turn. And then have my Calyx have that slash. I do like it. I do indeed like it. I do indeed like it. I'm going to bring Calyx on my own. And I'm going to just pop this Light Screen. Let's get the screens out here. I need my screens. I need my screens. So we'll drop the Light Screen. And then just straight up Astral Brash, right? Find my best bet. He even might, he might protect the Calyx to swap it. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. I'm hoping he kind of just keeps it in here. He's going to help go for a helping hand. I'm cool with that. I'm totally cool with that. Because Lightstream's can come out here. I have Focus Sash anyway. I'm going to be able to take out his, his, uh, his, what's it called? His Calyx. And then I can go into a Pile and Puff next turn. And, uh, take out his, uh, what's it called if I want to. 
Oh, he's not even gonna get off a shot. That's beautiful. He's not even gonna get off, get off a shot with this Caldax. Beautiful. So I still have my sash. I still have my sash. That's solid. That is solid. The sash is still out and about. So that's a solid turn for us. Grim Nate is going to get boosted. You guys know my boy can rip. You guys know Shadow Rider Caldax. Once it gets Grim Nate or Ice Rider Caldax, get Grim Nate snowballing. It, it, it starts to do some work. It starts to do some work. Now he's gonna throw a crowd out. I'm gonna set up a reflect here. And I might. If I go after Indeedy, I think I'm gonna have to go after Indeedy. Or do I just roll Astro Barrage and get off as much damage as I can? Because I could go for a Palm Puff. Palm Puff would be nice. Right into Ndidi? I'm kind of digging that. I'm kind of digging that. He's going to Dynamax you. I still have my Solgaleo in the back end. Which I can Dynamax. And I still have my Rotom, who's about at half HP. But Solgaleo would honestly be the better Dynamax choice, just because it's full on HP. But again, we got to see how this guy's playing it. So Groudon gets that Dynamax. I'm cool with that. Well, I can definitely see a follow me or maybe even a helping hand poking out here. Let's see what he goes into. Yeah, helping hand. Who's gonna help a hand? I am Sash. I'm Sash. I'm with us all day. The Flex can come out here as well. For his big old physical attacker. And now we got screens. This is why I love me some screens, Grimstone. This works too well. Works way too well. Palm Puff's gonna come out here. Deal some nice damage. Built. Take him out. Bring him down to Sash. Okay, so we bring him down to Sash. At this point, I can drop an Astro Barrage. And I can go into a Spirit Break. He's gonna go into a Quake. That's totally fine. Pokemon should be able to eat this up. Yep, goes into Calyrex, and we survive on 12. So we still have a nice little chunk of speed here. Um, then from here, I just Spirit Break into Ndidi. Right, yeah, Spirit Break to Ndidi, and then we just Astro Barrage into Calyrex. Just try to get off as much damage as we possibly can. It's going to do a little bit. I mean, he's plus one on special defense. We're plus one on special attack. It's solid all around. But again, I still have two Pokemon in the back end, and I'll have my Dynamax as well. We'll have my lovely little Dynamax as well. Ready to roll. Ready to roll. But hopefully, like, by the time we take out this Ndidi, his next Pokemon is probably Charizard or Venusaur. Hopefully the drought's, like, about to end. Right? I would love for the drought to start to end. This drought probably has, like, maybe one or two more turns left. Right? Because he swapped turn one. We are able to, uh, let's start Calyrex's, like, fourth move. So, yeah, drought should be coming to an end, which could be really, really good. So he's going to protect Ndidi. With that, I'm Astro Brajan. I ain't but Rajan. And he's gonna probably gonna take out my Calyrex. Yeah, I'm fine with that. When you send this, yeah, eat. Chip up some nice damage onto that Groudon. And the best part is we have screens up. Screens are just great. He's gonna quake again, but we're gonna bring out a uh, physical attacker here. He's gonna go after Grimstone. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Goes after Grimstone and leaves me for another turn here. I could obviously take out a D. I just think we uh, do the same turn as last turn. The same thing as last turn. Oh, he went after Indeedee. Maybe he thought I was protecting. Even though, like, I still would have, I still would have went after my what's it called? I still would have went after my Calyrex. Just because the fact is, uh, like, if he hits me through a protect, it's definitely gonna do at least 12 HP and KO me. And I, I might have messed up here. I think I might have clicked Spirit Break on Groudon, but it's all good. <laughs> I'm not too sure. I don't know why I have a weird feeling about that. Indeedee's gonna try to double protect. That's totally fine. Astrobot's gonna come out here. Doesn't affect Ndidi, and we're just slowly chipping up some damage on the Groudon. Loving it. And did we Spirit Break onto the... He's uh, Rockfall. That's a solid turn. Rockfall's a solid turn. So he changes up weather. And he takes out Grimstone. Right so Grimstone goes out. Cool with that. I'm just going to bring out Solgaleo. I'm going to ride this. i ride Solgaleo. Ripping with Solgaleo. Yeah, I'm bringing out, I'm bringing out Solgaleo. Can you actually eat up this Buffet? You can. Dude, 11 HP. Does 11. And he kills his own Ndidi. That's beautiful. So we can't hard swap now to change weather back. And he's probably going to bring out, I think, Venus or Charizard. Bean, Bean, or Char Char. And I'm going to just bring out Solgaleo. I'm going to Dynamax and try to finish up this battle. But the best is my Calyrex gets another turn, which is lovely. He brings out Charizard. He brings out Charizard. So this leads me to want to go into a special defense boost over a physical defense boost? I do not know. I do not know. What do I want to go into? I think we'll go for a special defense boost. I feel like that Charizard poses a bit more of a threat. Char Char. Now I'll just Astro Barrage. Let's do it. Let's run it. Let's run it. Let's see what he does. Let's see if he protects anybody. Hmm. Cutting it close here. Cutting it close. But like I said, I want to grab ourselves a winning record. We lost the first battle. Second battle was, yo, that was legit down to the wire. That was the definition of down to the wire. Both moves were doing like this much HP. We were fighting back and forth. And my Meteor Beam actually would have landed. The battle probably would have ended earlier. But of course, my Meteor Beam did not land. And uh, came a little closer than I wanted it to. He's gonna end up protecting Char Char. That's totally fine. If you double protect, he might double protect. 
design. That's totally up. Oh, he does double deck. I was gonna say. I was gonna say. That's actually fine. That's totally fine. Astrobot's gonna come through here, and he's gonna let the Buffets take out my uh, take out my Calyx, which uh, I guess I'm fine with. I guess I am fine with that. Max Quake's gonna fly through here. We are gonna get a special defense boost. It's gonna be nice, nice up against this uh, Char Char, because I really do not feel like dealing with like a blast burn. Damage onto me. Then maybe I'll go for uh, I'll probably go for a Steel Strike this turn and just get a physical defense boost. The Soul Gallery is gonna be the Pokemon that's gonna win us the battle here. It is going to be that Pokemon. He's that guy. He is that guy. But Charizard's gonna take some buffets. Well, actually, it's just gonna be Charizard. I was gonna say Soul Gallery, I was too, but no. But now we're gonna bring out Rotom Heat. And Rotom Heat poses a threat onto Charizard, which is really, really good. I can throw a Thunderbolt towards his way. Um, and I'm just gonna Steel Spike, right? Steel Spike, try to take you out. And then go into a nice little Thunderbolt. I do dig it. I do dig it. Because I think turns are going to go Charizard, Solgaleo, Groudon, Rotom. Yeah, Heat Wave's going to fly through here. And he procs Policy, and that's huge. Because Solgaleo should go next. And I should just be able to absolutely rip onto this uh, Groudon with the Steel Spike. So Weakness Policy is out and about. And then what's called it? If uh, Solgaleo goes first, that means Rotom survives his turn. And a Thunderbolt could just uh, finish this off. Yep. Solgaleo goes first. Steel Spike's going to fly through here. Groudon, get on out of here. Rotom, please. Please take Charizard to the exit. Thank you. Escort him out of here. Escort this Charizard out of here. Get him on out of here, Rotom. Escort this lovely little orange dragon out of here. Get him on out of here. Thank you very much, Rotom. I'll see you guys next time. But there it is, yo. Winning record for today's video. We get two wins, one loss. First battle didn't go so hot, but battle number two and battle number three went in your boy's favor, and we grab ourselves a winning record. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.